Hey guys, so today I'm going to be planting irises real quick in this pot and my pond. So um, they'll just get uh, moisture from the pond and that's the plan. I have these ones that um, bloomed last year and then I have these ones that I guess we got somehow, I don't know, but they've been sitting dry in my garage and honestly they may be dead, but I don't know, like this part, I'm. I'm not sure if that's brown or green <laughs> because I'm colorblind, but um, I feel like they could come back. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just hopeful about that, but I feel like they could. So um, I'm going to go ahead and plant those in there and, uh, as well because I don't think it could hurt. I have my own soil mix um, that won't really um, hurt the, the, the water or anything um like this might i don't know if there's like fertilizers or whatnot in there so i'll go ahead and wash those off plant them in those and then i have some other plans to get it so the soil doesn't go into the water and stuff so i think that's going to be pretty cool okay so first i'm going to be adding some landscaping mesh and i'm doing this because after i add the landscaping mesh i'm going to add um rocks so the, the water should be able to tr travel through the landscaping mesh. Um, and then the rocks are going to keep the water from the dirt. So I, I'm going to get the rocks. So I just have a big container here of um, like sandy pebble type of things. And I'm just going to add a bunch of these. down into here. And then these rocks, it's basically like a really grainy sand in a way. Um, I got these from a river as well as there's some <clears throat> other rocks mixed in with them, I think. Some uh, bigger pebbles. So I'm going to get it so um, there's like just water at the surface. Um, one more handful. Maybe another one. No. Okay. I'm thinking that's good. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. So here, you can see it's just below the water level. And then, um, I have another idea. This is uh, the filter stuff for the pond. So this is what filters the pond. Um, the mechanical filtration is a, an old piece of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. It's filled with uh, particles and stuff like mechanical filtration would be. And I'm going to add this on there. And then this is what the dirt will sit on top of. So then the roots of the plant should grow into this, and this should be um, moist all the time because it's touching water. So let me go ahead and get this there on top of the rocks. Hmm. This isn't exactly sitting on something, it's kind of just pushed here. So I was wondering if the rocks would be an issue. It looks like I'm gonna need to build something somehow to get this to stay sitting up but I can finish it in here because that's basically it's basically the same thing so from here I'm gonna fold this landscaping mesh down so then we don't see it I'll make sure you guys can see what I'm doing um, I'm just going to finish it in this tub right here. It, it has water in it. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead, dig out the irises, get all those placed in, and then I'll add the soil. Okay, so now I'm going to add some soil that I can set the plants on. I went ahead and took the plants out and rinsed them off. And then this soil is like super dry and dusty. So it's going to have to be a little while of... Um, I have to moisten down a little bit. Oh, geez. 
but with all this moisture it should um, start to be proper soil again. So now I'm going to try to first set these ones down, the, the nice living ones, <laughs> and then I'll just place the other ones all around. Again, I'm very unsure if these will live, but I mean these, or if these ones are living or whatever. <coughs> I don't know if they could survive dormant like this, but I guess I'll find out. And I don't think it would be too troublesome to have them all in this one thing, but I could always split them up if they all do pop up. But I kind of wanted this to look really cool, so these would certainly help that. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to put all these in here. There's going to be room for dirt in here. Okay, that's all of them. And it takes up like the whole thing, but that's probably the only good part about this dirt being so dry is that it'll fill in all those holes rather than pump together. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Luckily this um, tub here isn't exactly connected to the pond. Uh, I think water flows through some holes in it, but I'm gonna, I'll just go ahead and dump this. Um, tub so then I don't get all that dirt in the pond. And this is a uh, turtle and fish pond, by the way. So here, I'm going to shake this around, get the dirt flowing down into all those holes. And then I will uh, add more dirt. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flow a bunch of water through this to get this soil moistened. Okay, I think that's good. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and flow the water through it, like I said. Just use this bucket here. Then, like I said, the, the soil would moisten over time, but this should just help it. And the idea is that it'll just go ahead and sink through and flow back out. And I think as the soil gets moist as well, it'll sink down. Um, so I might have to add more soil.
And then I read, I believe irises are fine to grow like this. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure, but hopefully they are. Um, I think that they would look really cool because they get really tall. I think they'd look really cool on the side of a pond, so that's why I um, picked these. Slash, I had them, so um, I just went ahead and figured I'd use them for this. So, I'm just going to continue doing this, but this is pretty much it. Um, hopefully these will grow throughout the summer, and I will somehow build something um, to set down there. I'll probably just put, like, a piece of wood or something down there, so then I can uh, kind of, like, balance it in between these two things and then um, that. But I think this will end up looking really cool if it does grow out, and then it'll take, you know... Uh, uh, ammonia and nitrite out of the water um, to purify it for the fish and the um, turtles. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like it down below. If you have any comments or concerns, put in the comments below. And if you want more content, then subscribe. Sorry my video cut out earlier. Have a fantastic day.